Hello everyone, welcome back to Victoria 3. For those of you who don't know, my very first video on this channel was a guide of how to play Egypt in Victoria 3. So in my very first video, I told you all that if you play as Egypt, the best strategy is to go down into Ethiopia and vassalize everybody. Today, we are going to give you a better strategy. So as Egypt in Victoria 3, your main goal is really to form Arabia. Coming over to the Cultures tab, you can see Nasia Formation Arabia. Basically all of the Arabian Peninsula plus Egypt. If you're able to form this nation, you're going to be quite a bit stronger. So that is going to be our primary goal. And because of that, we are going to start by expanding in Arabia instead of in Ethiopia. We will still expand in Ethiopia, but that was going to come second. Begin improving relations with Russia. France and Great Britain. In order to improve relations with Great Britain, you're gonna to need to declare a rival. So let's see who we can rival. Looks like Tunis, Morocco, Sokoto, Madagascar. So our, our rival list is a little limited. Honestly, probably just Sokoto and Morocco will be fine because I mean, what are they gonna to do to us? Improve relations with Great Britain. Now, very first thing I wanna do in this game is I want to reduce the autonomy of Hejaz. At the very beginning, they're completely willing to accept this. So hit confirm, boom, they are now so under our control. Next step, I want to make a tributary state out of the casement state. Unpause the game, this is our first target. After we hit this one, we're gonna hit three other states in the Arabian Peninsula. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm going to set all these to be line infantry instead of a regular infantry, and then send them to the front line to push. And I'm probably gonna hire two more generals just so we can get our pushes going a little bit faster, win wars a little bit quicker, in turn, spend less resources fighting our wars. So first blitz into the casement state, first battle is going to go down and that's going to pretty much wipe out their entire military. Eh, half of their military. Basically, they're not going to be able to put up any sort of fight whatsoever anymore. And now that that's one, I'm going to demobilize because that's a new feature that we can do now. All right, see if they're willing to make peace yet, just about, and propose peace deal. We snagged the casement state. Now that we've snagged the casement state, I want to snag the other Arabian states. So we'll start off with Nijd and we'll do the exact same thing to them. So mobilize, send everybody to the front and set your other army. Go ahead and get them working with line infantry as well. Interests in the Arabian Peninsula are going to come first in this strategy, and the second will be in Defer and Wadai, and third will be in Ethiopia. While you're fighting wars over here, it's also time to go into our politics tab and we're going to pass some laws. First up, we want to pass is some form of colonization. I'm gonna go with exploitation just so we can expand a little bit faster by getting colonization rights from wars that will trigger more often if we are dicks instead of being nice people. Nedge is done, demobilize that army, save a little bit of money, and Nedge is willing to submit. We have snagged two states and we will snag two more in the Arabian Peninsula. Next up is going to be Lahej, take them over, and then we're also going to do Jabal Shamar. And they have backed down. This is excellent. That's going to give us a little bit faster progression on this. We're still at only seven infamy, which is barely anything. So now into Jabal Shamar, we're going to make them a tributary state as well. Mobilize. Everybody's going here. Now it is time to try and get the big nations to like us just a little bit more. What the great powers decide to do will either make or break this run, so we need them to like us as much as possible, which means anything that we can import from them, we probably should import from them. So we're gonna take iron, we're gonna import from France and Russia, Great Britain, not as much, looks like we actually already start by doing that at the beginning of the game, so that's pretty cool. And we're gonna try and get trade agreements if possible with them, though I don't know how feasible that's going to be. Jabal Shamar will submit, and now we can pause the game, check out our market, and we can see that all four of these states are now in our market, meaning they're under our control. This is perfect. Now, next up, I'm gonna try and go into the Sahara Desert. So I want to target Defer next. Make tributary, Defer, confirm. This is going to be our next goal because we want to get all the way to Bornu so we can start colonizing in air and all this Sahara Desert region. Not really a super strategic place to colonize, but it makes my borders look sexy and I want it. Colonial exploitation is now on the table, which means we can start colonizing. So obviously we want to colonize right at our border. We've got a state right here that we just actively border. Might as well grab it. I'm also going to increase this institution, make that a little bit stronger, and probably build up another bureaucratic building to compensate. And while I'm here, I've also remembered that I need to incorporate states. So Palestine, Transjordan, Syria, uh, and we don't want to really go over cap, so we'll just do those three for now until the bureaucratic buildings get built. 
Back to expansionism, uh, make tributary states. Since we've done defer and these four states over here, we can now start targeting some others down in Ethiopia. So I'm gonna hit Kaffa first, to be honest, because they've done some expansion, which is gonna give us quite a few borders with other future targets. Let me make sure my infamy is not too high before I do that. Only 5.7, that is completely fine. Make tributary, we are going to snag Kaffa. We can maybe get them to back down if they're scared of our forces on the border. France almost likes us quite a bit. We need these guys to all like us before the Ottomans declare war on us because the Ottomans are a bit stronger than we are at the beginning so it is going to come down to whether or not we can get support from some of the big guys or not. I'm also going to take this as an opportunity to build up a few more units and Kava goes down. This is excellent for us. Will they submit? Not yet, not yet. We're going to wait a little bit until they will accept. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. Good, Kaffa, you've done well. Time to start. Nope, we can't reduce autonomy just yet. We gotta wait a few more years. So I guess we'll continue to expand down in Africa. Make tributary, I guess we'll hit Welga next and we'll just go from the top, or sorry, we'll go from the bottom up. Still have a truce with the Ottomans. We got about three months left and they're probably just gonna instant declare war on us once that truce is up. I can get a trade agreement from Russia, I'm gonna take it. Cause great powers are much more likely to back you if you have an agreement with them as opposed to your enemies. So if we can get trade agreements with the major powers, it's gonna give us a much, much higher survivability chance against the Ottomans. Cause the Ottomans, I believe, are hard scripted to try and go after it, as long as they feel like they're more powerful than us directly. But if we do have agreements with these major powers, yet we can also get France, let's snag them as well. That should make France and Russia way more willing to come to our aid, in which case we we will be able to deck the Ottomans. The truce is up, so they could declare war at any point. We'll keep expanding in the meantime, just because none of these states down here are necessarily big threats, so let me check and see my reputation. I do want to keep my reputation a little bit lower than I would normally, because once the Ottomans declare war on me, I want them to transfer Tripolitania to us. So we'll try and expand in cheaper infamy states. Asa, that'll work. Oh, and they just Gave in. Cool. Wasn't expecting that, but I will take it. Got our first research done. We've now got better defense. Hopefully we can get up to general staff, because if we need to, we don't need percussion caps beforehand, because we can just import munitions. Things are fine. I really am just waiting for the Ottomans to get involved. I don't want to get caught with my pants down. So we're going to be a little bit more cautious with expansion. We'll do a naval invasion into Mara. Ottomans have sided with Mara. I see. All right. Can we bring anyone onto our side of things? Yes, we can. Sway with Wargul. Absolutely. Conquer State. Debrugia? You can have it, my friend. Now we're going to try and slap the Ottomans. So I'm going to add a Wargul. I would like... Wait, I can force recognition. Ooh. The Ottomans are a great power. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, please. Actually, yes. Absolutely do that. And that also means Tripolitania isn't a front, which means I'll be able to deck the Ottomans super hard as long as this actually starts. They're uncertain, which is actually amazing because the Russians are way stronger than the Ottomans. Yeah, 277. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is this is a great turn of events for us. I can also... No, it looks like I don't have the maneuvers for it. I've got 28. Ah, oh, that would have been great. Honestly, I'm fine with this. This is going to give us exactly what I need. And we'll just uh, naval invade the other fools later. The Ottoman forces are going to be spread way too thin to actually do anything about this. We're going to go straight there. This is fantastic. Just don't back down and we'll be good. This is amazing. Just don't back down. Just don't back down. Yes. Yes. Ha ha. This is great. We're going to get recognized. That's going to make forming alliances so much easier. The Ottomans don't have the troops for this. They're going to get decked. Oh, this is beautiful. This is incredible. And Ottomans are getting decked. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nothing could have gone better in this scenario, in all honesty. This is a fantastic turn of events for myself. I'm gonna get my recognition. Ottomans are probably gonna get decked and lose theirs. Incredible. All right, what's their war support? Negative three. Recognition. Mara won't give me recognition. Damn, I'm devastated. I don't think it's gonna matter for them. Oh, they're losing seven per turn. You can't do nothing to me, bruh. You can't do nothing. Is Russia invading Mara for me? Is that what's going on here? No, 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 surely not. Let's go. We have official recognition on the world stage. What happened to my other war goals? Did I get them? I'll uh, take a white piece because I don't have any more war goals. I didn't get them as a protectorate, did I? Or a tributary? Nope. Okay, whatever. 
that's fine. I, I'm happy with what I got out of that. All right, so we are now a recognized state. We are a major power. And I don't know about the Ottomans. They're a great power, but honestly, they suck ass, so ha ha idiot okay so that actually changes the plan up slightly because i can't make tributary states anymore they're now protectorates which means i don't think we actually make money from protectorates which is a little bit sad but honestly i'm not i'm not even like mad about that uh we'll reduce autonomy of them and then i guess we just start making protectorates instead of tributary states works for me all right nedged and the case in state yeah, okay, I see, I see, because I couldn't make Marah a tributary anymore because I was in a, a recognized power. Okay, that makes sense. I'm, th that, yeah, that makes sense. All right, make protector. Um, looks like my armies are a little depleted, but that's all right, to be honest, because uh, what's Kathiri going to do? Hmm, what are they going to do? They ain't going to do nothing. All right, so we're the eight, number eight power in the world now because we need more prestige to rank up. 205, that is doable. We can absolutely do that. Ooh, sense of suffrage, 93% chance. As long as the landowner dude like doesn't die and then just reduce this down to like nothing, we're gonna have a very strong Egypt. We gotta make Egypt into a great power. General staff is now unlocked, excellent. All right, so next one, percussion caps, and then we'll move on to society stuff after that. And honestly, uh, after a few of these get done, I think I hit pharmaceuticals so we can colonize a little bit faster. Sounds like an excellent idea to me. All right, you guys ready to give up? Not yet, almost. Give it a little bit more time. That's all right. That's perfectly fine. Ottomans lost to Perugia. Let's go. All right, give in, give in. There we go. Protectorate down. What else can I do? Reduce autonomy of Lehege. Come on, sense of suffrage, get past. All right, looks like I can't do anything else there, but I can still make protectorates. Uh, now that Oman's lost a bunch of stuff, I might just go ahead and, you know, snag them real quick. Britain might have claims over there. Maybe they've got an interest over there, but I really need to snag Oman so I can form uh, Arabia. I don't think Britain can come to Oman's help because Oman hates them. This is all very, very good. Things are going our way incredibly well. We got sense of suffrage. Ooh, I like that flag. Oh, I like that. We have sense of suffrage, so we gotta wait for the election to happen, and it's the agrarian party. You know, I probably should have seen that coming. I've I've got 700 hours in this game. How did I not know that's what was gonna happen? Uh, we're at war with Oman. Time to navally invade Oman. Man, I really like this flag. I did not realize how much I was gonna like that flag, but I really do. I don't know why. All right, are you naval invading yet? Can you like win the naval invasion battles? Pa -pa 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 that wasn't a sentence, but you understood what I meant anyway. Pa -pa 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 Let's go, they've got no troops. Yeah, we're in Oman. Excellent. Uh, Great Britain took Zanzibar. Yeah, Zanzibar, dude, I'm so good at this geography stuff. Amazing, all right, reform government. Dude, we get everybody in the government. <laughs> Everybody's in the government. It's a big government party. Woo! We're okay. Now what? What can we pass? What's everybody wanting? Uh, public health care. I would love to. We have to invent pharmaceuticals. Bet we can do that. Tenant farming. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah, let's try it. Let's try tenant farming again. Let's get rid of serfdom. Get the tenant farming. Then we can pass some good laws. All right, give me, let me make you a protector. Let me protect you. Thank you. I'm now protecting you with all my heart. Did I establish a colony? I did. Let's go. I'm smart. I remembered. Uh, reduce autonomy of Darfur for 0 0.5 infamy. Damn, that's like nothing. All right, what about Jabal Shamar? Is that going to be the same? 0 0.3. Excellent. All right, now, no, no, no. Can I make a protectorate of Wadai for 2.7 infamy? Let's do it. Oh, we have skirmish infantry. Let's boost that. I know we don't have the munitions for it, but we can import the munitions from France because France is a solid homie. They are the best. And we can also start, uh, no, I forgot we can't do that yet. It's fine. We could probably import enough. Can we? Yeah, we can. France, France is based. They got me covered on those bullets. I need more bullets. All right. So we have census suffrage with a monarchy. I'd like to get rid of the monarchy if possible, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Man, nobody gives a damn about religion. <laughs> huh. Interesting. I believe at this point I am stronger than the Ottomans. Let's see. Hover military power 2000. Yeah, we have more military power than the Ottomans. Plus we got all this stuff in Arabia. We can check our own cultures. We only need two more states to be able to form this. Plus pan-nationalism, of course. But still, that's really, really solid. Hmm, that's not good. That's really bad, actually. Hmm. I'm gonna pray for a good debate and just kind of hope. 
you know, if at first you don't succeed, just try it again until it does work. That's what I've done. This is like the third time I've tried to record this video. <laughs> Public address goes awry, no! Yeah, damn. Ooh, we can build those buildings now. That's good, that's good. Uh, applications, ba ba ba. We're gonna put one in lower Egypt. There we go. Okay, let's see now. What is the plan? We're gonna, ooh, reduce autonomy. A kaffa for one infamy, let's do it. All right, sick. That means we have expansion into Ethiopia now to mark off the list. Take protectorate for two infamy, let's do it. I, I don't even think I need to like deploy my own troops there. I think uh, Kaffa will do it for me. Yeah, they can probably win that by themselves, I believe. They're fearful, then just give up. No, we don't have to fight. Just let me take over and control everything. Enactment time. We're gonna, we're gonna fail this quickly now. Uh, but it's a drafting. It's basically halfway there. No, don't fail. Oh, they back down. Let's go. Damn. Now the time, now we're gonna fail it slowly. That's crazy. All right, Shua. Hmm, I can go to Wello. Let's do Wello. Let's do them. Our goal is to conquer all. I'm gonna have to deploy my own troops this time. Dang, we are almost a great power. How much, how much do we need? 225? Hmm, what if I just, uh, oh, I can't see my troops anymore. We're in a map mode. Here we go, here we go. What if I just make all these dudes into skirmish infantry? Well, that put me over the top. I'm really curious. It might, it, it legitimately might put me into great power status. And once we're there, getting allies is so much easier. Ooh, enactment success chance plus 22%. We're voting. Oh, we might actually snag this. That would be amazing. This early on, that would be great. Actually, it's not even like this early on. That's just something that should, I should be able to pass soon. All right, Willow's going down. Our laws are doing well. We're passing stuff. We're building stuff. Uh, we got a little bit of debt, which is perfectly fine. Our radicalism is low. Make you a protectorate. Let me protect you. Come on. There's bad guys everywhere. Peace deal. Boom. Excellent. We must continue to expand the empire. Reduce autonomy. Ooh, so yes. Reduce autonomy. Welga. Ooh, 39. They don't like us. Uh oh. Uh-oh, Welga don't like us. Oh no! All right, we gotta improve relations with them because I don't want to fight a war. I just want them to be like chill with it. Oh, we're so close to great power. I want this. Come on, just a little bit more. It failed again, damn it. No, we were so close. Oh, what's going on? I wasn't paying attention. Nah! Dang it, I could have taken advantage of that. I'm dumb. All right, bet, bet, bet. We're going to war, bruh. Get clapped. Dingus. Oh, why did it shoot up? I need more. We're gonna have to build more infantrymen. Legislative failures. I know, I'm so sad. That's that's mean. You're very rude. All right. Instead, let's see what else we can pass. Let's see, dedicated police force. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Dedicated police force. That'll work. We're gonna have to build more uh, bureaucratic buildings, but we were gonna have to do that anyway, so let's just go ahead and do that anyway. We'll build three in every one. That should be plenty of bureaucracy. Get to the front line, men. Push the Hararans. What, what would you even say? Hararans? Hararites? Push them back into there. We'll, we'll, we'll say that. Oh, we did it. We became a great power. Let's go. It's beautiful. Can we? Does that mean we can make like alliances now? Could I ally them? Oh, not quite. Not quite. Hmm. I couldn't do them because they feel like they're, they, they feel like they're stronger or cooperative. That's actually kind of close to being friendly. We could probably get an alliance with France. Dude, that would be sick. In the meantime, we just keep on doing what we're doing. Keep making protectorates. We gotta keep expanding our empire. Expansionism at all points, always. Shua sided with them. I can snag them too. And hopefully that doesn't put me over the cap. No, we're still good. We're only at 12. Never mind. Never mind. I thought that was way higher. They have 28 troops though. Time to pummel them back to the Stone Age. Debt is getting a little bit high though. Nightman success chance. Well, we're gonna get dedicated police force. That's a fact. What can we do that would tenant farming? Ah. I'm so sad, I'm gonna cry. Allegiances? Hey, France, I'll help you. Oh, Constantine, what are you willing to do? Diplomatic packs, I don't want a trade agreement. Give me stuff. Just give me your state. Give me you, and I'll fight them. Oh, they back down, let's go. All right, let me add more consumption taxes to make up for what we're not making here. So, you know, 2,000 there, that's fine for now. All is good. Welga still won't agree. They hate me. They're, they're assholes. They despise me. I'm assuming Great Britain's gonna win that, so we'll improve relations with them. This is becoming a little hard to manage. I might have to pause some stuff and crank up taxes in a second. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and pause some construction, okay? And after this war, we're gonna have to chill for just a bit. This is our economy, our interest is getting a little out of hand. Our interest isn't even that much, it's only 3,000. Hmm, what's, what's costing me money? Goods for military buildings. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. I want to reduce autonomy with several states. Specifically Wadai, I wanna get in there. It's our colonizing stuff. How much would it cost to make, oh, we can reduce autonomy of several states now. 0 0.6 to make them, what, what does that make them? I can't remember the name, what is it? What is it, that's a dominion. A puppet, puppet, how did I forget the word puppet? I'm stupid, I'm dumb, it's okay, it's okay. All right, well, continue to reduce autonomy then. Caseman state, all right, we need to chill for a second and build our economy back up. We'll just, we'll just crank taxes up just a little bit for now while we wait on stuff to happen. Could annex Hejaz, but I don't really feel like I want to do that. How much infamy would it cost to make somebody like Persia? It's only 35. That's not actually a ton. Snagging Marah before anybody else could would be a good idea, though. Because I think I've almost got all the states I need here because I've got control of Kathiri, of, of Oman, and Marah. That's enough to form Arabia, I believe. So we're just behind Prussia in the realm of being powerful and all that. That's not common. They just stole Tibet from Qing. Huh. Honestly, that makes sense as a thing to just do if you're like playing Britain. I'll have to incorporate that into my British strategies. Oh yeah, I need to naval invade them. Why am I just sitting here? Uh, you, armed forces boy, go invade them with these fellas right here. Boom. Has the Ottomans fallen off yet? Not really. I guess they still got a few more years until then. Alliance with France. Let's do it. Uh, excellent. Excellent. We have an alliance with France. We're untouchable. Slowly conquering our region of the world. All right, we can try and pass tenant farming again. This time we got a 19% chance to start with. Maybe we actually get it this time. This will be third time's the charm, right? All right, reduce autonomy with a bunch of people. All right, defer for 0 0.6 infamy. Lahej and is Welga still mad? They're still mad. Womp womp. Angry little babies. Magma success chance plus 24%. Okay, that's, that, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad. There's still like a 50% chance it stalls, which is bad, but maybe we can force everything through. What are we making from our Diplo packs? About 5k? Not bad, not bad. We need one more state for Arabia. Oh, 34%. Okay, things are looking good now. It's more likely to be on this side than this side, but things can still go badly. Give it a serfdom, we'll be good. Who do we want to protectorize now? Right here, Gelady. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds like a great plan to me. How's my market looking? We'll do a little check, little checkup. Mm, could still be manufacturing our own stuff, but eh, it works. France broke their alliance with me, you assholes. Reduced our relations so far down. I, I hate that that does that. This, okay, I'm starting to feel a little confident now. I'm starting to feel a little bit confident that we can get tenant farming. We can get like one more solid pass. That should give us what we need. Defense of pack with Russia? Sure, since France doesn't want to be my friend, we'll be friends with Russia. The Ruskis, they shall love me. I think we should, I think we should protect Shu uh, next. They seem a little in danger, if you know what I mean. Ottoman War of Civil? I see, what can I offer for support? Obligation, I don't want your obligation. I want your state. Unfortunately, I'm currently at war and I can't capitalize on this. Which is really sad, I'd be able to like snag one of these states more than likely. Eh, we'll send you to the opposite side and push in. Yeah, so we can end this faster. How's their- oh, bit. <laughs> I was gonna ask how's their defense, but there isn't really a defense. Market. I like looking at my market map, makes me feel powerful and strong. Dang, our prestige is just skyrocketing upward. We're getting close to Prussia. About 70 off? Oh, ooh, ooh. All right, 43% chance to pass. I swear if this fails, I'm gonna be pissed. There's higher chance than success than stall. Come on. If we get another setback, I'm, I'm just gonna cry to death. I'm going to drown in tears of sorrow. Dang, Civil War Ottomans, you should have given me a state. Now you die. They are now mine. I feel like we can reduce autonomy now. Aha, I was right. Would die, we'll accept. Can we reduce Welga yet? We can, excellent. Kaffa, yep. I'm gonna keep doing it. We just want more money. I forgot to incorporate those again. I'm dumb. 
How's my infamy chillin'? 12, that's still nothing. Keep reducing autonomy. Excellent. How much should we make from Diplopax now? 7.5k, that is solid. That is very solid indeed. One state left for here, so as soon as we're able to reduce Mara, we'll be good. Oh, we got it! We got tenant farming, let's go! Serfdom is over. And now nobody supports cultural exclusion. Wait, or no, do I need... Oh, that one's slavery. Which one did I need for serfdom? It was schools, right? Well, let's do it. Religious schools are better than no schools. Unless this is the public school, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's fine. Austro-Hungarian Empire is a thing now. I'm pretty sure that was a thing earlier, but I'm only now noticing it. I didn't realize that these guys are all in one big party. There's the these people, and then there's the farmers, and then there's the nobody else. Halt, wait, what? Halt, pa? Huh? What's this? I opened up like a, a, a school lesson. I don't want to learn. Shut the fuck up. All right, uh, Issa is down for the count. Get destroyed, noob. I think we should head into Bornu next after this war is over. We must expand our grasp. We could also hit Macron because we do have this little state right here, Gwadar. Hmm, they're losing all their momentum, but who's gaining it? Oh, the agrarian party. They're blowing up. And peace deal. Boom, easy. Egypt becomes strong. All right, reduce autonomy again. Go, go jam. Let's do it. Make protectorate. Bornu. Send these boys over there. Send these boys to whoop some ass. Who sided with them? Hold on, I just skipped a bunch of stuff I wasn't supposed to skip. Who sided with them? The Netherlands. What are you gonna do? Regime change and would die. Why do you care? I'm so confused. You can't even, like, defend them. They're coming in at the speed of sound. I just missed a message. I I was distracted. Something up at the top right had some somebody offered something. It's probably Russia offering to help, like, support in the war. Is there anything I could take from, like, the Netherlands? I don't think so. It's probably not worth it. Yeah, what do they want? Change for subject Marat. No, I need Marat. War goal of Holland Treaty Port. No, I only want to fight Bornu. I I will... What if they want to regime change it to? Um, that's fine. I, I'm, I'm completely okay with them changing the regime in Wadai. That's okay. Okay. Okay, so that's passed. We need to continue passing other laws. All right, what laws shall we pass? Ooh, public health insurance. Absolutely. We really need that. Get our standard of living even higher than what it already is, which is actually pretty high for Egypt, I feel like. Please don't. No. What? Huh? What are you doing? What is this? You couldn't have landed there, like, any faster. That's fine. I want Bornu to capitulate, and then uh, these guys can honestly just have whatever. I don't like them sieging me, but, eh. It, what, what, the, 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 huh? What was that? What was that little flippy dippy doo you did? Huh? Uh, I guess we'll just kick the Hollanders out. Get decked, Hollanders. You can't fight me. I'm Egypt, bro. All right, honestly, here, here, here. You can have it. You can have it. What, what did their government change to? A constitutional principality. Okay, that's fine by me. Alrighty, what next? Reduce autonomy again in Tigray. Let's do it. Bet. Continue to reduce autonomy until we have everything. More protectorates? Let's do it. Man, the temptation to just hit Persia right now is actually pretty high. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but I think Macron is a smarter decision. Everybody go. What do you want? Obligation? No. I don't need your help to fight Macron. Buddy, buddy, then think with your brain for like two seconds. It, they're, they're like tiny, it's like punching an ant to the face. It's not that hard. Eight mil, baby. Co-belligerent in default. Damn, my subjects cannot handle their finances. SMH. Dang, Prussia is now skyrocketing ahead of us. This will never do. Peace seal! With Macron. Solid. Can we reduce autonomy even further? We can. Begemder. Ah, oh, look at all that Egyptian colored stuff. I love it. Man, the temptation to go after Persia right now is so high. <laughs> we'll go We'll go over here instead because that makes more sense to do. We'll snag them. We'll just keep like ping-ponging back and forth. Kind of tempted to go to war with the Ottomans. I do have Russia as an ally still, I believe. Yep, I do. There's Quinine, Quinine, whatever it is, but that's going to make us colonize this stuff way faster. Let's go. Zoom, zoom, baby. Establish a colony. Uh, we can hit everything that just has normal. So right here and right here. And we'll do fast colonizing. 
Oh, I forgot we're still passing uh, public health insurance. We're going to need more uh, bureaucratic buildings, so I think I'm going to build more construction sectors. Make that go faster. Dang, we only had three this whole time. I didn't even realize it was that little. Uh, don't need that, don't need that, don't need this, don't need that, don't need that. Look at all this blue, this power block of nations that I have under my control. Now they're mine. All goes according to plan. I would really like to take Tripolitania from the Ottomans, though. Could I start a war for that, perhaps? Transfer subject, 6.6. .6. I do have the Russians, but I'd also have to fight the Austrians. So our side is stronger, but not stronger enough. Okay, I need more bureaucracy. So I think our next one should be Central Archives instead of Nationalism. But I'm also just going to build a crap ton of these buildings. Is Giuseppe Garibaldi. He wishes to help, but I, I don't really care, to be honest. Hurry up and surrender. You're already 100%. 100% occupied. Trade deal with them. Sure. We'll be, we'll be just buddies with everybody. If everybody likes me, they won't try to slap me later. Though, the Ottomans are dipshits. Hmm. All right, now where do I go from here? A lot of my expansion's being cut off slowly, but... Ooh, ooh, here we go. Them and Oman. Reduced autonomy. That means we now have all the seats we need to form Arabia, so as soon as we get pan-nationalism, we can also just uh, snag that from them. Let's protectorize Bahrain. And Bahrain's dead. Bet. I feel like once you have 100% occupation, it should just be, like, instant capitulation. Mascara wishes to enter an alliance. I kind of want to take- Ooh! Ooh, wait, wait, wait! The Ottomans collapsed. I need to take Triplatania. Let's crush them quickly so I can protectorize Triplatania. You are next on the chopping block. I need to snag you quickly. Let me make sure that you have no dumb defensive packs, and I will grab you a lot of land that I would like to take. All right, Triplatania is going to be mine! This is beautiful. Tripoli will be mine. Come on, give in, you've lost. Give unto me yourself, and I shall be gracious and accept it. Henceforth, come on. Wah. Proposed peace deal. Bet. Got him. I want to look at my market. Look at all this. Look at all this Egyptian-controlled area. This is beautiful. I still kind of want to form Arabia, but I also don't want to wait that long. This is going to take forever. I'm going to keep reducing autonomy. Shua, you're mine. Haha. -ha. Look at that. Look at that. All Egyptian everywhere. You suck. Well, oh, yes. For, like, no infamy whatsoever. Yes. Keep going. Would die. All this. How much am I going to get? 15k from diplomatic packs. Construction. Let's build more construction sectors. Four more. That's good. Keep on building. Man, this is so nice to look at. This is, so, this is such a better strategy than what I first made so long ago when I had no idea how this game worked. Uh, I want to snack Tunis too, if possible. Do they have any dumb defensive packs? Two Sicilies. What kind of flag is that? Are we playing inverted chess? Ugh. Uh, ditch the checkerboard, please. Thank you. Herm, 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 herm. What shall I do? Ooh, we got Central Archives. Finally! Yes! Okay, nationalism next. Everything's gonna be so much better. Our standard of living is growing. Our radicals are dipping. This is such a solid Egypt campaign. All right, ooh, I can reduce more autonomy. Ooh, Macron, bet. Ati Gray, and Begemder, Bordernu. And it just keeps getting bigger. Our power grows and grows. We could go into Kalat next, make them a protectorate. Our expansion is unlimited. Egypt is such a good nation to play. Honestly, I think Egypt is probably the most fun nation to play in Victoria 3. Persia sided with them. Okay, we can we can fight Persia. Okay, so what are we taking from Persia then? Um, can we make them release anybody? No. Can we conquer state for cheap? Sistan? Sure, let's do it. What's Persia running? Do they have good troops? No, no, they do not. No, not at all. All right, cool. So, uh, designate strategic objective is now going to be there. Uh, what's my infamy looking like? Is it still high? 21. Can I add something else? War reps from Persia? Nah, it's fine. We don't want them to back down. They are fearful right now. I'd prefer they, you know, just didn't back down. They're probably going to back down now that I want to take something from Persia, though. Sistan would give me an immediate border with Afghanistan, which I could then protectorize them as well. And that would also reduce the cost to hit Persia in the future. Oh, it's a slaughter. Oh no. 
Oh, it's war crimes. Oh no, the Geneva Convention's gonna be mad at me. Oh boy. Get absolutely clapped, Persians. Skibbity bop. Blast them. Persia is such a cooler name than Iran. I'm gonna be honest, they should have never changed. Persia, Persia is just so much cooler. Maybe I'm biased, but I think Persia is a cooler name than Iran. Maybe it's just recency bias. I'm more familiar with that, and Persia just sounds cool. Everyone just abandoned this front. AI is a little goofy. They're little goofy goobers. Persia, you did this to yourself. You should not have gotten involved in my affairs. Now you will be dismantled. We have stolen it, and I wish to incorporate it. Wow, dumb Persia. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. And you get protectorized anyway. That was dumb of you, Persia. Very dumb. Very bad. Very unintelligent. Dang, I've actually got quite a bit of control over here. I forgot I was uh, colonizing over there. Get over there, men. Slap them silly. Hey, Spain's a great power too now. Nah, welcome to the club, Spain. Election. Looks like the uh, rural folk are still gonna be in office. Dead, dead, wounded, dead, demoralized, dead, wounded, dead, demoralized, bet. Have we landed yet? There we go. We did it! Great job, everyone. All right, more autonomy reductions here, and here we'll make even more money. Crush the secession. Done. Easy. Why did you even secede? You got blasted instantly. Nationalism. All right, bet. Now what? We still have quite a few before we can actually get to uh, pan-nationalism, so we'll just do organized sports. Eh, what happened? What's going on now? Who's rebelling? Oh, it's you. Uh, you! Hey, yeah, you way over here. I'm gonna recruit you. Go fix this. They don't have troops? You don't have troops? That means you win. French market! Uh, oh, I need to check and see if that French is still the same French from French from earlier. It's not. It's a different French. Damn. Enactment success chance. Boy, we getting some migration in the empire. Yeehaw! I want to Tripletonia. I want my borders to be sexy. I want to form Arabia, but it takes forever to form Arabia. Law debate failed. No, you can't fail at the very end. That's BS. <laughs> Stop it. No, I'm losing my great power status. Oh, why is the threshold so high now? Wait, wait, wait. Fixed. <laughs> fixed instantly. Let me just click the fix this button. And now someone's murdering people. Stop it. Oh, we got him. That was quick, but he did not last that long at all. More autonomy reduction, we can get Tripletonia now. Oh, they're 25%, so I need to improve relations because they decided we're historic rivals. Yep, natural enemy. Dumbest modifier in the whole game. I will stand by that forever. Britain keeps jacking up the threshold to be a great power. What's this? Two Sicilies. Hey, you took my advice and got a new flag. Okay, I like that. Much better, much better. Let's say, I wonder if you left this game to run for like up until 2000. I feel like the only great power would be Great Britain because they would jack it up so high due to exponential growth that no one would be able to catch them. Reduce autonomy. Blammo. And now, oh, look at this Egyptian empire. This is what I wanted. This is a way stronger way to play Egypt. No progress. What, did I lose my interest? Why did I lose my interest? I didn't say to do that. Ooh, I can aim in a lot of interests. I'm a very curious individual, you see. That, huh? The what now? New Granada is a senior partner in a customs union with Spain? Say what? Huh? How the, huh? How does that work? How does that work, huh? Oh. Oh, China blew up. I missed that. They exploded. Buzzing noise. The itching wouldn't stop growing. Out, out, out. I shook my head in screams of pain. Get it out, out. What is this? A beetle. Did someone get stung inside my ear? Ah. Uh, huh? Gets wounded? Beetle-eared. Well, did we succeed? Did he get, we get beetle-eared. Had a beetle crawl in their ear during an expedition. Surely it's dead unless it's minus 30% character health. So he's gonna die. Was he good at anything? Nah, but he's got a beetle in his ear. Excellent news. All right, we can build stuff and have a positive economy. This is great. Things are turning around for us. Give me the colonization rights, baby. Give it to me. Did I lose my, how do I keep losing my interest in the Congo? Why does that keep happening? Crocodiles? Oh, you mean I get life prevails or a moment of silence? Oh, we got crocodiles. Among us. That government's unacceptable. He's a slaver. Can I just like deport the king? The crocodiles again? All right, minor progress. 
Welcome to the jungle. More crocodiles again? Come on, life prevails. Moment of silence. Dang it! Goddamn crocodiles. Stop revolting! Ah. Can you guys like handle it yourself? Oh, I'll send the one dude. He can do it. Iskander L. Oh, it's Beetle Ear! He's also in charge of my army. Somehow, I thought he left. Congo River Expedition completed! Yay, what do we get? More prestige! He gets Explorer! He's no longer busy! I wonder if I could... I could probably punch Sakoto right now. And no one would be able to do anything about it. Can I make them a protector for 26 infamy? I'm at zero right now. I think that's fine, because I don't think anybody can get to me. Yeah, no one can, like, back them up. They're pretty big. 5 million GDP, make them a protector. Let's do it. It's worth it. 26 infamy. Mobilize, go. Spain sided with them. That's okay. Spain can't get there. But that doesn't mean I have to mobilize and send them here now so that we don't get invaded. And they're gonna like sail up and then back for some reason. Sorry, Sakoto. Better luck next time. Does Spain actually have a war goal or are they just here? They're just here. Sir. Uh, no. You ain't. That ain't the plan, bro. You ain't doing that. Here, actually, you need to push right here. There you go. They'll handle that in the front. Let's look at this Egyptian market. Oh, this is demonstrous. This is huge. I guess I could actually, actually here. Can I annex Bornu? I can. Let's do that. Make sure my infamy doesn't go too high. Yeah, it's fine. Let's annex Bornu. So you go back. That way we can start colonizing in the Sahara. We'll challenge France for their colonies. And not even close. They just got smacked. And there goes all their manpower. <laughs> Down to 2,000, 1,000, 2,000 again, 2,000. Up, oh, they're almost up to 3,000. 3,000 troops on the border. Not for much longer, though. Uh, oh, back down to 1,000. All right, we are three years away from pan-nationalism. Very close to getting the ultimate achievement of this run done. We've got all the states we need to form Arabia. We just gotta wait on pan-nationalism. And then we will have achieved the final goal of this adventure. Uh, peace out with you. Done. Our market. Man, I love looking at my market. Very close to pan-nationalism. We got nine months left. And pan-nationalism. But I'm not gonna do it yet. I want to get Sokoto first. So give me just a second. I want to snag them. Come on, just a little bit more. And I'll be able to drop them down. And 50. All right, stop bankrolling. Let me get some money back. Now I can reduce autonomy. And they only have a 25% chance to accept. They will accept now, actually. Confirm. And look at this Egyptian empire. We stretch all the way from the Atlantic to the Indian Oceans to the Mediterranean Sea. This, this is beautiful. And I kind of like the Egyptian color a little bit more, which is why I haven't changed to Arabia yet. But we now get to form Arabia, because I know a lot of you are waiting for that. So... In the cultures tab, Arabia, let's form this baby. Boom! And now they've added a new event, the Arabian Unification. We can take this top one, plus 25 prestige for 19 years and get a bunch of claims on stuff. Or we can do the same thing, but get way more claims on stuff. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure why you would take the top one over the bottom one, but I don't know, I'm taking the bottom one now. We got claims on everything and we're also green and that should have annexed all of them. Why did that not do that? I'm very confused. Why did that not annex anybody? I wonder if that's bugged because I actually got recognition. That is interesting. Apparently there's a bug in the game that doesn't annex them if you're if they're not uh, tributaries. That's weird. So here's the uh, other test game that I did before this to make sure all this worked. Uh, this is what is supposed to happen when you click on Form Arabia. We have it right here. I actually managed to get all these other states in my game. So, uh, Form Arabia, choose this bottom one, and it annexed all of them. So, I don't know. I guess Paradox has got another bug to fix. Well, anyway, that is going to conclude this episode. This is how you play Egypt nowadays. This is a much stronger strategy than my very first video. Definitely take over the Arabian Peninsula first. I, I still do not have any idea why it did not annex those states. It is supposed to, but you do have the claim so you can go and take a bunch of stuff for very little infamy and it's going to make you even stronger. And there you have it. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I wish you all a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.